Italy was the first country in Europe to call a national lockdown. It warned its neighbours to prepare too. Now its foreign minister is warning how long it will take before we ever return to normal. Quando un territorio non sa più dove mettere le proprie bare, sta varcando un passaggio storico da cui non tornerà mai più indietro. Cosa invece può dirci del lockdown e del suo proseguimento qua? Posso dire anche una cosa, e questo vale per tutti, non solo per l'Italia. Noi potremo tornare alla normalità quando avremo scoperto il vaccino. And a vaccine could be months away at best. More than five weeks into this strict lockdown, only a few specific shops and laundrettes have been allowed to reopen so far. And even that's at regional discretion. Here in Lazio, nothing has changed. Even those businesses can't open till Monday. Italy's economy isn't yet on any sort of road to recovery. After intense talks, a 500 billion euro recovery fund agreed by EU finance ministers offers some hope. But Italy largely felt abandoned by its European allies in the early days of this crisis. That has now prompted an apology in the European Parliament. Yes, it is true that no one was really ready for this. It is also true that too many were not there on time when Italy needed a helping hand at the very beginning. And yes, for that, it is right that Europe as a whole offers a heartfelt apology. European borders have been tightened as countries looked inwards to fight their own domestic emergencies. And Italy won't commit to a date for resuming free movement. Io come ministro degli esteri mi sono assunto la responsabilità di dire agli italiani residenti all'estero restate lì, perché in questa fase noi dobbiamo fermare il contagio in Italia e se vale per i cittadini italiani all'estero vale purtroppo anche per i cittadini stranieri. E cosa vuol dire per il turismo quest'estate in Italia? Ma fare previsioni sull'estate è prematuro in questa fase qui. Italy's next deadline will be nearly eight weeks into lockdown. There's no clarity yet what will happen then. Just this sobering warning, the normality as we know it simply can't resume until we have a vaccine. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Rome.